Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is going to be another video that isn't necessarily travel related, but we are going on a trip this upcoming weekend, so make sure you come back for that one. I am gonna be taking you grocery shopping with me today, and that might not be something that you thought about yet, or maybe you are already panicking about it, but I promise whenever you get here, it's gonna be something that's gonna give you mild anxiety. I know it did me. Interacting with people at a grocery store and looking at German labels just blew my mind. So I am going to guide you through the process. Before we head out, I do want to talk about one app that I use all the time. If you haven't already downloaded it, you need to download the Google Translate app. It comes with this awesome feature. If you tap on this camera icon, you can point at any German text, and this is what you use at the grocery store, and it translates it for you in real time. And you can hit this pause translation button. It'll stop the translation right where it is. And then I can hit the continue translation button again and continue on. So I just wanted to show that to you before we went because I wouldn't be able to show it to you in the store. So let's get going. So we're at my favorite grocery store, Globus. There are a bunch of different grocery stores in the area, and this one is probably about 10 minutes away. So there's ones that are even closer than this, but I like this one because of the feature I'm gonna show you whenever we get inside. One of the things that I had to learn the hard way, and I honestly kept forgetting the first few times I went grocery shopping, was get your cart outside of the store. You don't go inside to get it. So many times I would walk inside and look for a cart and there would be none, and then I would have to walk back out like an idiot. Also, carts here aren't always free. We're back. You have to either put like a one euro coin or a 50 cent euro coin, or if you want to hack and you always forget to have that kind of change in your pocket, you can get these things off of Amazon. They're pretty cheap. It goes right on your keychain and it fits right into the slot of the cart. But one of the good things about Globus is their carts are actually free. So some of the other grocery stores are hit. Rebe, Lidl, Aldi. Globus is just, it's kind of like a superstore. So it's got some clothes and toiletries and stuff like that, including products and that extra special thing I'm gonna show you when we get inside. But let's get going because people are starting to look at me. long time to work up the courage to use the scale in the fruits and veggies section. They don't all come with barcodes. If you don't see a barcode, make sure you take note of that number on the shelf. Bring your items over to the scale. And whatever number you saw on the shelf is what you're going to select on this screen. Take the sticker and that's what you scan with your scanner. I have yet to conquer the meat counter at any grocery store actually. So if this intimidates you like it does me, Globus does have a wide variety of already packaged meats. But don't be like me, do venture out and try to figure it out. There's plenty of people who do and can help you out.
Uh, staring in Germany is already the norm, so imagine how bad it was walking through a grocery store with a camera in my hand the whole way. Um, yeah. So the thing I wanted to show you that's unique to Globus is that little hand scanner thing. It's called Scan and Go. And at the end, you saw whenever I checked out, I had access to like that special Scan and Go express lane. So you never even have to worry about interacting with a cashier. It's a lot quicker because the lines aren't as long because I feel like people just don't know about it here, I guess, or they just don't want to use it. I'm not sure, but it makes my life so much easier. And pack your groceries in your bag as you go. Sometimes you have to go through random checks. I don't, it's just some kind of algorithm that the scan and go machine has. They'll have to go through my bags and like scan certain items. It's never really been an issue. No one's ever said anything to me about it, but it just kind of saves you time packing up your groceries in your bag at your car. Germans do not pack their bags at the register. They just pack them at their car. Speaking of, if you don't have reusable bags, you will need them. You can pay for them at the store, but there's no plastic bags other than like the reusable kind. I, I really think it's great. I was already a hoarder of reusable bags before we moved here so it, I felt like it gave my addiction purpose. <laughs> but yeah so that's grocery shopping in Germany in a nutshell. I hope this gave you some kind of insight. If you're left with more questions and answers please feel free to ask down below. I'll try and answer whatever I can and while you're at it leave me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. All right so we'll see you next time.